guys, welcome back to the dressing room with me. This time I'm at Maurice's and I am so excited to show you everything I found because they had some really great deals and some awesome pieces. So I'm starting out with these coral jeggings. I do have a few pairs of their jeggings already. I have like a maroon wine pair and more of a khaki pair and I do have to go a size down in the jeggings. They're a really stretchy material, so if you go to your normal size, which mine would be an 18, they end up getting like a little bit saggy in the butt and the crotch, and that's not a cute look. So I would definitely recommend going down one size in the jeggings. They do have a bunch of new colors right now. There's like, um, you know, like a mint and a pink, and the coral shown here. Really, really cute jeggings at Maurice's. And I'm still on the lookout for shorts, so I tried on these black pair. They did have a few different colors, like some white khaki and whatnot, um, but I thought black would be really good because it goes with everything, and I love wearing black. I know, it's a problem. So these were some chinos. They had like some flaps on the back pockets. The front pockets were really like the big square ones. I don't know if there's a name for that. Um, and then they had a cuff at the bottom, and I don't love the cuff, but everything else is okay. Um, they're comfy. They fit well. I think they'll be a good staple for summer just to like throw on when I'm not sure what to wear. And of course they're nice and cool because they're shorts. And I don't love wearing shorts, but I know I need to, so <laughs> I'm trying to get used to it. Their shorts and tank tops were buy one get one half off at the time I was there, so that helped the decision as well. I was like, okay, I'll get one pair of shorts and one tank top and I'll be good to go. These are some of their chino shorts. They had these in a few colors as well, but I was really drawn to this beautiful pink color. It, they were a decent length, a little bit long for me. Um, my only issue with these was the color. I love it, but I don't love it on me. This color would look really great on someone with medium to dark skin tones, but unfortunately I am so glow in the dark pale that it just didn't look good on me. So, eh, something to note if you're really, really glow in the dark like me. But, <laughs> but they're really comfy, I like the shape of them. Um, the only thing I didn't like about the shape per se is that the bottom seam was a little bit tight. So every time I'd move my legs, you can see it kind of cut into my thighs just a little bit. And it didn't hurt or anything, but it's just a look that I don't love. Um, and my last pair of shorts were some denim ones. And these are the Maurice's brand of shorts. And it's so strange to me that these are the Maurice's brand of denim, and they were really tight on me in an 18. But the jeggings are also Maurice's brand, and I have to go down a size. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get it. I did like the wash of these though. I like the distressing on them. The back pocket details was cute without being too over the top. So I might have to go back and get these. I don't know. Do you think they'll stretch? Because they were a little bit too tight, but do you think they'll stretch out? Hmm. If you have Maurice's jeans, let me know. <laughs> Next I have a few shirts. This one is just a lace overlay, so you definitely need to wear something underneath it because there's no lining at all. So I threw it on with a black tank top just because that's what I was wearing for the day. But I thought it fit really nice. It's really long, so you can wear it with, you know, even leggings probably. I like the sleeve length. I thought it was short without being too short because I think if there's, if it's like too short of a cap sleeve, it can make my arms look bigger than they are, but I thought this was a good length. I really like how it laid over everything and kind of camouflaged any visible belly outline or any muffin top I might have had. So I did really like that about the overlay. Sometimes those um, overlays like that can cling and accentuate it more, but this one really camouflaged it well. They did have this in a few colors as well. This tank top though, oh this tank top, they had this one in a few colors as well. But this one has lining and the lace overlay is a really delicate lace as you can see. And I just thought it looked so cute when it was on. It's a v-neck with spaghetti straps. So I do need to wear like a thinner bra or maybe a tank top underneath to kind of help camouflage my bra straps. But I thought it just fit really nicely and it's so cute. Cause I can wear this with anything. You know, this with khakis, with pink shorts like that, with my black pants, with denim. The girl who um, was helping me said that she wears it with like an olive green cardigan, which would kind of create a different look, so I think I'll try that. My only issue is I usually wear a tank top under any, everything, and I have to get a v-neck um, tank top to wear underneath this one if I still want to do that. But I thought it looked really nice like this. It wasn't too low cut. This is their super soft midi skirt, and when they say it's super soft, they mean it is so, so super soft. It has kind of a handkerchief bottom, 
and it's really, really stretchy. As you can see though, it does give a visible a belly outline. So if that's something that bugs you, you might want to steer clear. But if you're wearing a long shirt like I was, now you can't see it at all. And it just kind of lays over everything really nicely. So that was enough, um, the visible belly outline was enough for me to kind of steer clear. Um, but if you like that, it is so, so soft and they have it in another pattern too, I think. This dress was really cute. It does have a lining underneath. I got stuck in the lining for a little while, so be careful with those. Um, let's see, it has like the, is it a shark bite sleeve type? I'm not sure if that's what it's called or not. Um, kind of a v-neck, handkerchief bottom. I like that the stripes go horizontally on the bottom and vertically on the top. That was kind of a cool detail. It comes with a belt. I think it's a good like work dress type of thing. Oh, I'm showing you the back. There's a tie there too, so it doesn't fall too far apart. And it does have a v-neck back, which is cute as well. It wasn't quite my style, but it is a really cute dress. And once you get in there the right way with the lining and everything, <laughs> it is comfortable to wear. But oh, I don't know. I just have trouble getting in the straps the right way, I guess. I don't know. Does anyone else have trouble with that? Please let me know that I'm not the only one. <laughs> Now we're going to move on to the last dress, which is now my holy grail dress. I love it so much. This dress is so pretty. First, I just love the print. Um, it has kind of this chevron-esque of like a different, um, just the purple going through, but then it has the print as well. It cinches in at the waist. I just think it's so pretty because it brings you in at the smallest part there and then all the rest is kind of loose. The only issue I have with it is that the straps are really close to the neck, so my bra is going to show. Um, I could wear a strapless bra, but I haven't found one that I really like. So I did wear this to work the other day, and I just wore a cardigan over it. I wore like a tan, neutral looking cardigan, and that worked really well. My bra straps weren't ever showing. But this dress, oh, this dress, I love it. Thanks so much for joining me. I will see you guys next time.